setting in a stylized leg. This is Jackson. We're going to do her body in a two guard um, stylized leg. And so we're going to first start off at the rear. I've already taken the clippers over the majority of the body, um, but left the legs with some fullness to show the placement of the legs. We're going to start at this rear, and I'm going to first back brush. I'm going to set this stylized leg in using that wide point of the muscle. I'm going to still clipper this whole rum, and I'm going to skim off the rear with my clippers about two to three fingers above the hock, depending on the size of the dog. Now, Jax is pretty lengthy in her legs, so one thing that I want to point out is this tuck-up area. We leave a nice fill of coat here, and what that does is once we get this all set in and scissored in, this tuck-up is going to help that transition from that short length on the body to that full leg. To kind of, to kind of demonstrate is if that tuck-up wasn't left there, it elongates her leg. It makes her look really long. Whereas, as you can see, if you leave that full, then it's going to transition a little bit better, creating a nice balance in her legs. So first, running my clippers, I'm going to go over the rear and skim off right above the hock. As you can see, as I start to reach my line, I'm skimming off to help leave some blending area. On this rear side, again, we're going to still take full pressure with our clippers, creating a nice rear angulation, and moving the clipper forward and falling off to leave full coat on that stifle and that tuck up area. And as you can see, I'm skimming off with my clippers. I'll be using full pressure on anything, and as I reach that wide point, I'm falling off and skimming out. So what that's doing is helping with that blending. right off that muscle and create a nice parallel line with the other front leg. First, we'll go ahead and back brush and fall off that shoulder. You can still use full pressure right behind the leg. Again, falling off that Y point. Now you do want to make sure that the dog's legs look like they're under them and not like it's flat in the front. So at this front part of the shoulder here, where it meets the chest, you're still taking your clippers and scooping out at that front of the leg so that leg is positioned underneath the dog. And after that, we would round the, the feet and scissor in the leg. 